Hello everyone, this is Mike Sang V and I am back with another Cognos Report Studio interview question and in this question interview asking about PESET. Now what is PESET, why to use it and how to use it. So let's start and before explaining what is PESET, how to use it and why to use it, I want to show you a small example. Okay, And in this example uh, I have a list my list table containing closing inventory product line product type and product all this column so i'm going to select all this drag and drop and my list is created successfully and i want to run my report and this is the output of my report okay that's it uh, close the output of your report and now i want to create a group by on my product line i want to calculate the total number of available inventory at the end of the day for particular product line so I'm going to select product line and that's it and select this group and ungroup now the next thing next thing I'm going to run my report so this is my output of the report now as for the business requirement I want to separate my each product line report on separate page or for example uh, this is the first two page is for product line campaign equipment okay so this first two page is belong to campaign equipment and on third page I am able to see the mixture of campaign equipment and golf equipment but I don't want to see this behavior I want this scale equipment or the next product line on the I want to start the next product line from the next page so how to handle this how to adjust this for this we are going to use PESET yes PESET is used to divide your report content on different pages now how to divide the contents of the report on two separate pages for this we are going to set some columns or condition to separate our list contain or report contain so let's start and now I want to quickly add a total on closing inventory so you are able to see it more clearly and I want to my I want to run my report once more so this is my page one this is page two and this is page three containing campaign equipment and from page four I want golf equipment I don't want anything on or I don't want two product line or two different product line on same page okay for this we are going to use space set okay now how to use page set for this we have to click on page explorer click on report page and drag and drop page set here next thing you have to select your page which you want to divide and then you have to drag and drop on detail page that's it now from you have to select page set and for query we want to select query one our and the next thing we have to open grouping and sorting click on this ellipse button and for grouping and sorting I want to divide my report contents based on product line it means I want to divide this page or I want golf equipment on the next page I don't want campaign equipment and golf equipment on the same page I want two different product lines on different pages so we want for grouping we want product line so I'm going to select my group on product line and then we have to drag and drop here okay and before uh, executing our report once more I want to see the output of this report in PDF format so this is the output of my PDF format and in PDF again I am able to see my campaign equipment and golf equipment is right now on the same page okay now let me close these all okay and uh, let me quickly save the output of this if we want to compare okay and here is the save icon here is the save icon and now I want to save this my report one and it's time to run our report click on ok to save these changes and run your report and this is my report my first page contain campaign equipments 
second page contains campaign equipment related data and third page contains only campaign equipment previously this page contain other product line data also but after using pet after using pet set other product line related data is now available on the next page so page down this page contains only golf equipment related data on the next page i am able to see mountain mountain engineering equipments and so on okay and here is the output of this report in pdf format so this is my campaign equipment my first page contains data related campaign equipments only my second page contains data related golf equipment only and this third page and so on okay now this is the scenario when you want to divide your report based on some condition okay so i hope now you are able to understand what is page set why to use page set and how to pay how to use page set so that's it for this video if you like this video don't forget to click on subscribe like button share it with your friend and see you all in next video